Hello, I'm Rufus Bird, and at this year's Chalk Valley History Festival, I am talking about St James's Palace, uh, which is a book in which I've written a chapter. And my five books are, firstly, as an art historian, uh, Gombrich's The Story of Art. This is one of the great introductions to art history and is almost a foundational text. Uh, my next one is Kenneth Clark's Civilization, very similar to Gombrich, a very personal interpretation of history. And uh, he says things like, what is civilization? I don't know. I can't define it in abstract terms yet, but I think I can recognize it when I see it. It's a great book and of course a great television series. Thirdly, another personal one is A History of the World in a Hundred Objects by Neil McGregor. And this looks at the history of the world through individual objects and their use and their function and how they uh, were used in society. My fourth book is uh, East West Street uh, by Philip Sands. And this is a wonderful book, which very, very important for telling the story of genocide and crimes against humanity uh, in the Second World War and the aftermath of the Second World War. But it merges wonderfully his own personal history and his family's history. And finally, my fifth book is uh, George Orwell. Um, and this is a, a rather nice little book, but it's in particular, this uh, important essay that he wrote called Politics and the English Language. And if you're studying history, then you need to know how to write it. And I wish I'd known uh, about this essay when I was younger and when I was doing my own history um, uh, A-levels, um, because it teaches you to understand how to write clearly. Thank you.